if you think Microsoft is not spying on you, you are wrong. There are many ways in which Microsoft is doing so, and I will show you how to stop it. This video will provide you with an easy way to stop Microsoft spying. However, I will also take time to explain how this is actually accomplished. Hello, my friends. My name is Irvin, also known as Kubelman. Today, I'm going to show you how to block all of the services that are used by Microsoft in order to spy on you. And there are a bunch of different things that they're spying on using telemetry, data settings, and things that you write on your computer, things that you search for your computer. They even have advertising. Uh, they even have advertising ID specifically for your computer so they can send you targeted ads. So we certainly want to block some of this stuff because especially if you're worried about personal, you know, personal identity, personal everything that you do on your computer, right? So the program we need is called SpyBot NTP. You can go ahead and go to Google and search for that. And the first thing that comes up should be this link that's called safer-networking.org. Um, if you see that, go ahead and click on the very first thing that you see. This will take you to a download page. And I've done this earlier, so it'll download super quickly. But all in all, it's just a tiny program anyways. Um, so the version here that they have is version 1.6. Uh, it may look slightly different if you're watching this later in the year or some couple of years later. I don't know. Um, but it will download here. And then you can just go ahead and open it up and uh, install it. I know there was a black screen right there because my recording doesn't actually uh, see the pop-up for some reason. So anyways, uh, once you have it open, the application, go ahead and click OK. And this is just typical stuff. You can click Accept here so you can go further. Click Next. Click Next and then click install and now it's going to install it. So now we, when we launch it, apologize for the black screen again, um, this is how it looks like, right? This is how it looks like. It actually doesn't come telemetry hosts. Let me click undo. This is actually how it looks like initially. The, what you see in there green in the first, that's leftover, uh, what I had earlier uh, when I was just messing around with it. Um, but this is how it looks like and this, these are the type of things that will block for you, you know? There are, you know, certain, here's the advertising ID here that you can see, and even uh, you can block the sensors. Um, just like you have, to be fair, this is just, uh, these are some of the things that you, that happens on your phone as well, you know. So let's go ahead and click on start button here. Doesn't this look familiar? Kind of looks like your phone, doesn't it? And this is exactly what uh, Microsoft is trying to do, you know, trying to get this type of uh, telemetry settings that are used. And look at this. Even, 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 even with the send handwriting data, hand, handwritten data. So if you have a touch screen that you can write on, anything that you write there may be sent to Microsoft. We don't know that, right? So in order to resolve this and block all of these issues, you can simply click immunize and you can just call it a day and be done with it. But if you want to know how this is done and what actually happens with this program, what does it do? It actually goes in and changes settings within registry that are there for each one of these um, issues that we have here, right? It goes in and just makes the changes in your registry and disables them. And I'll show you how that happens. Oh, uh, by the way, in this, you have a next tab over optional. You can actually bo block a bunch of other stuff. If you get this, look, you even block Bing. If you want to block Bing and anything that's associated with it, you can certainly do that. You can block any, any, any other things that you have available here, right? I'll let you do that and kind of decide uh, whether you want to mess with that or not. So let me show you how this actually happens. So if you go to options, if you click hide options, this is how normal looks like. If you click show options, you actually get location of the registry keys of the, of the registry entries uh, for each one of these things that it's blocking, right? So let's have a look. Um, um, I don't know. Let's look at this apps that use advertising IDs. This is the location of it right here. As you can see, HK current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, advertising info, and then enabled. That's the name of the entry that's within the registry, but it's under this path. So we kind of have to dig through and look for it. Um, let's go ahead and open up our registry. Uh, so I have it here. So we know it's HK local user, right? It says here HK local user. So we know it's this one when we expand that. And then the next one is software right here software so we got to look for software and here it is we're just going to expand this see this this software we're going to expand that and the next part of it is uh, let's see here software Microsoft next one is Microsoft here's Microsoft we're going to expand that and then next one within Microsoft folder is Windows and you see how they made this difficult uh, it's Windows right and this is why we have this piece of software but this is just a learning progress so you guys know exactly what's happening so now we have Windows expanded right we have Windows expanded, and then we have, next one is current version, which is the very top one here. 
let me kind of stretch this out a little bit more so you guys can see better okay current version we're going to expand that and the next one here is advertising info right that's the next one we need to expand advertising info not expand but actually select so this folder has this enabled entry here which is this right which is this see it says enabled enabled right um so when we select this we know that it's disabled it's just the name of this key that it's called enabled but it, we know it's disabled because it's it says zero here and that means disabled for uh, for the, this type of registry entry right it's it's called a d word and we know that that's true because here it's all green and that means that it's blocked it's all blocked we know that it's blocked now let me show you what happens when i turn this to one so if i change this value to one this will actually um re-enable it as it says here it will re-enable this tracking so if i close this this will actually be unchecked right let me see here and it's not going to be green anymore because it's again re-enabled within windows so we have our spy bot anti-beacon here and when we open it up you can see that this part of it is back right we need to no blocks placed yet because we have enabled it so this is what this program does this is what anti-beacon does it goes through all of these all of these settings here and makes changes for you because there are so many of them right that's the point of this right but i really wanted to show how this is done so we're going to go back here if you want to do this manually zero means disabled this registry carry no longer works and let's go back in it's going to turn green this is going to turn green again once i once i open it and just a sec here and there you have it see apps apps that uh, use advertising ids it's all blocked it's all good there you have it guys um yeah i really wanted to make one of these videos just so you guys can learn a bit about it and uh, kind of stay safe if this was what you choose to do right all right thank you guys so for watching have a good one bye, -bye.